Yeah, absolutely no offense meant to Jimmy McNeil or the family, especially the kids are on the whole in any way. It's uh, still a very serious matter between me and the two people standing closest to the mayor of my city who on television about a year or two ago said, everybody knows what you're about. So he's standing up there with a woman who sent police to my door multiple times just to disparage me and no other reason, literally. And then the son, it's amazing to put the videotape of the two of them screaming next to it. It's like their cardboard, um, their um, cutouts, what do you, you know, they're the same pattern. And um, the idea that I don't want to say he tried to poison me, it's, but in fact, that is what he did. So we're going whole hog and publicly saying, Who the fuck do you think you are? Which is a dangerous game to play with violent tendency. You know, I used to think he was stupid. Well, I never thought he was stupid. I never really thought about it. But he impressed me a couple of times with his knowledge. Um, and it made me realize there's a depth to him that I had never imagined. But I still don't know him, and I um, have learned that it's best to keep your distance. He's completely untrustworthy, unstable, um, even to his own, you know, family that he has kids with, will shout on the front door about child molestation and make implications to humiliate people. She came out running one day that he put a gun on her son, which, whether that was literal or just uh, a figure of speech because of something we were talking about. All I know is that was when my problem started with Daniel Martin next door to me, Lubatai's tenant, because I said, uh, when I heard that gun on a baby, I just didn't know, I couldn't just not, you know, say something to somebody. So uh, um, I knocked on Daniel's door, who I had gotten along with fine, and, um, and I said, did you hear that? And he had just heard screaming, but he wasn't listening. But because I was listening, he said, oh, I just, I know better. I mind my own business. And, um, he said some catchy little, you know, funny thing. And I thought, yeah, it's best not to interfere because she might not have meant it that way. But, uh, oh, but I had recorded it because he had, the guy had blown up my computer you know, week or a couple of weeks before. And so I was listening, hoping to catch him admitting what he had done, which isn't going to get me my computer back. But I, you know, at, when it just happened, you would think, how can you not offer to give me some money for the property you've damaged? And not only do they not get in trouble for it, there's no police report about it. And which is fine in itself. But on top of that, I'm supposed to live with being called crazy by everyone, particularly these three people in the middle. I don't know who this lady is on the side, but I hope that's not the door in the back because his kids seem so sweet. And I feel, of course, I feel bad doing this, but these psychopaths, I mean, I really 